All right, since we've blown up our fair share of uh, pistons, uh, I figured after a full year of running uh, nine second passes, it was probably worth checking the one that always goes. That would be number one. Home, no more home to me, whither must I wander? Hunger, my driver, I go. located right underneath the blower at least it's not the hardest to get to I decided to throw down a whole 11 bucks for uh, an eBay 5.5 millimeter borescope okay so here's the borescope you probably can't make it out but I took a silver sharpie and drew a line for the top of it because well it's kind of hard to orientate yourself when you're using this thing so let's uh, connect it up shove it in the cylinder you can tell way down at the bottom there that the, uh, um, the spark plug wires already been removed and uh, let's see what happens it should be worth noting that the pistons in the motor now are these custom JE dished pistons you can see the intake valve relief there at the upper right and a slight exhaust valve relief at the upper left and it's a dish piston but the center has a little pop-up dome in it so that's what they look like when they were brand new let's take a look at them now that missed the hole we've all had that happen and we are in the cylinder as you can tell, this looks like a cross between a deep sea dive and a sonogram of some sort. This is roughly the 7 o'clock position on the piston. You can see that it's been uh, cleaned by some sort of action. I'm going to guess fuel sitting or condensation or something. The car's been sitting for a while. Let's go look at the top right hand corner where they always fail. This is uh, first still. You can see the eyebrow. Everything looks pretty good up there. Let's see if we can get another angle here in our uh, Team Zisu Life Aquatic video. There's the top half of the eyebrow, still looks pretty solid. So even though we check spark plugs as much as possible, it's always good to have confirmation that everything's put together. And I'd say for the 11, well, okay, 12 bucks, the thing was plenty worth it. For reference, here's where they normally fail, right in that eyebrow, every single time. It's always the same place. Oh, and one final footnote. Uh, you notice that uh, I had the thing attached to some sort of wire. That's actually an aluminum TIG welding rod that it's gaffer taped to. That's largely so I can manipulate it. Um, but anyway, it's good confirmation. Certainly worth the money. You can uh, dim the LEDs and, you know, picture quality is not fantastic, but it's certainly better than having to pull the heads off and replace $100 gaskets to do it. So hopefully this was helpful to you and uh, see you next time.